Praise the Lord. We thank God for the beautiful songs tonight, and we thank for those that have come this way. Uh, that is what we all should want. We should want our uh, minds to be conformed. That's what Jesus said, uh, that our minds uh, should be unlike unto his. Our hearts also, you know, when he saved us, he saved us unto good works, the Bible says. And, and I thank him uh, uh, tonight for... Uh, he is worthy. John saw him there in uh, Revelation chapter 4 and uh, verse 11. Uh, the four and twenty elders fell down uh, before him. Uh, and him that sat on the throne, they worshipped him forever and ever, the Bible says. And here's what they said. They said, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are Created, and he is tonight the great creator. He is tonight the great redeemer. And I thank him tonight above all that one day he saw fit to come and visit us such as I. Uh, but tonight we would uh, like to uh, say hello to our friends up on Stinking Creek area there. All of them that's up there and uh, that watches the program. We also like to send it out to those at Flat Lake out there that gets the program also and those that's in Clay County, Whitley County, and uh, the Tri-County area, we just thank God that you've tuned in tonight and uh, appreciate everyone uh, that has come this way tonight. we got some visitors here with us tonight. We thank God for them, too. We just uh, believe we followed their program here just a little bit ago. We thank God for them also for sticking around. And uh, you just, uh, tonight, uh, you might be in trouble out there tonight. You might be listening. I mean, you might be depressed. You might be hurting, you might be sick, but uh, I know one tonight that is able. The Bible says he is able to do more than we can even think or ask. And uh, uh, tonight, if uh, you're out there and you're in trouble in some way, uh, he is the one that is able. And tonight we was thinking uh, on the way down here, and we jotted down a few things uh, 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 when we got down here on the uh, uh, about what the Lord has done and what he can do. But uh, if you've got your Bibles out there tonight and you'd like to read along with us, uh, we'll be reading tonight out of the book of St. Mark, chapter 5. Uh, but tonight, if you're out there, and you might say, I've gone too far. Uh, I have gone to, and there's uh, no hope for me. Well, tonight, uh, uh, there's hope. As long as there's breath in your body, there's hope. And if you're out there and you're lost and, uh, and undone without the Lord, uh, tonight you really need to listen. And you might be in the hospital or the nursing home and, and say that there's no hope. But tonight I'm telling you there is hope. Uh, and it is in this man named Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. But in uh, the book of St. Mark, chapter 5 and, and verse 1, it reads like this, and it says, And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gennarines. And uh, when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. He had his dwellings among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had often uh, been bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broke in pieces, and neither could any man tame him and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stone but when he saw Jesus afar off he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said what have I to do with thee Jesus thou son of the most high God I abjure thee uh, by God that thou torment me not for he said unto him, Come out of him, uh, 
thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send him away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd run violently down a steep place into the sea, and there were about two thousand, and were